If you've worked with video in the last half century, odds are you've used a Matrox video product, whether you know it or not. So today, we're taking a trip to get to know the people behind the company, including one who was there at the very start. Matrox was officially founded in 1976. So that means that next year we're going to be 50 years old. Wow, <laughs> what happened? We were the first company to make a, a graphics card that could drive multiple screens. Today, uh, you know, people take it for granted, but that was uh, pretty innovative at that time. Innovative and award-winning. I think it was around 2000. We were one of the innovators in, in nonlinear video editing, um, and we won an Emmy Award. Did you ever imagine you'd be uh, winning an Emmy Award? No. <laughs> So Matrox Video fundamentally builds innovative products and we strive to provide superior support to allow our customers to harness the power of video, to allow them to communicate, entertain and to make critical decisions. Some of our customers have been with us for over 20 years and that basically speaks for itself and how much we really care for them. We pack a lot of punch in, in our products, uh, we make it very valuable for our customers. We like to take the leadership role. As you can see now, we're pushing quite heavily the IPMX standard, an open standard that we believe is very important for the uh, AV space. I've heard a lot about proprietary standards and open standards. So what's the difference? There are quite a few proprietary standards. Fundamentally, the, the issue with these things is they're walled gardens. So usually coming from one manufacturer or a very tight-knit group of manufacturers, um, these products are all designed to work together in a way that all the products complement each other very well, of course, but then you can't just pull a product from another company and bring it in and expect things to work. An example I like to use is with mobile phones, you know, there, was, there are different suppliers, each had their own type of connector at the bottom to be able to power it or to ex, you know, exchange information. And if you were using different devices from different manufacturers, you were stuck carrying around all sorts of adapters with you. Uh, that was a problem I had to deal with. Uh, but now with the latest USB-C standard, everybody's using the same one. It just makes life a lot simpler. That's a helpful illustration. But what are some of the challenges you might face using a proprietary standard in Pro-AV? When you're dealing with a proprietary standard that's made by one vendor, and there's something like COVID, many big companies were not able to get the products that they needed at that time. Many customers and users uh, welcome the idea of having open standards, not being stuck with one vendor. If I put myself in the shoes of my customer, they just won this big project or they're going after a big project, they selected an ecosystem, the products, everything's great, and then you start facing other issues like, you know what, we have to increase our licensing fees and uh, subscriptions now are a thing. Oh, sorry. Or, you know what, we're changing our core features and technology in order to add new functionality. I don't know if that's going to affect your current workflow, sorry. As an integrator, you're kind of stuck because you've committed. You're locked into this ecosystem. You can't just scrap everything because you just invested all this money and time and training setting up this ecosystem. All right, so what are the advantages of open standards? Flexibility is the key benefit of open standards. Not only can you interoperate between different Matrox products, which is already a stellar baseline when you're designing a workflow, but you could bring in technology from third-party manufacturers into that ecosystem. And honestly, like now you're cooking. So at the end of the day, it's the end customer who, who will benefit from uh, all these open standards and this innovation that we're putting into this open, uh, into IPMX. Another big aspect is the, um, the evolutionary characteristics of, uh, of IPMX. So uh, the, the basis is already laid out, but it's constantly evolving. Right? right now we just published the USB over IP specification. That's why things like open standards are great because you have different types of manufacturers catering to these different price points, different performance levels, and you can mix and match to get exactly what you want. So what is Matrox Video doing to support open standards? Matrox, you know, we're, we're servicing many silos. You know, we have broadcast products, video infrastructure, KVM, video wall, and all of our product moving forward are really benefiting from the promise of, um, of open standards. You know, built-in IPMX, we're supporting uh, uncompressed video, if it's, um, if it's uh, important for you. We're supporting Codex that is enabling lossless video quality, ultra low latency, uh, complete interoperability. Hey, Lauren, hey. how's it going? Nice to see you there. Please join me. We're figuring out how to harness 
uh, the most popular ubiquitous codecs that exist in the video world today. H.264 and HEVC are by far the most widely used video compression standards around. Besides driving innovative technologies, Matrox Video seems like a really cool place to work. I mean, how many offices have a pool and an ice hockey rink? So what do you love the most about working here? I love that question. It's a happy question. Oh, good. Glad I asked. Well, I guess the thing I'm most proud of is that we're still alive and kicking <laughs> after all this time, and that I'm still having fun. I'm a lifelong computer geek. I absolutely love technology. It's exciting for me to come in every day and work with our engineers to create these innovative products. I've been here now 33 years. It's been the friendships, both as, as with the colleagues and customers who've been working with us a long time. Uh, they've become family to me, realizing that our products are being used in a police station to help save lives, or some of our customers are doing a lot of creative entertainment type stuff. The reality is, is that we make really cool products on Matrox. We take a lot of pride in the products that we do because there's a lot of responsibility that comes with catering to these types of markets. And we take that responsibility very seriously because ultimately it keeps people safe, it makes the world a better place. Oh, you want me to do a little heart? <laughs> a little of the family spirit? Yeah.